So it is here. It is opening night of our musical. The cast is prepared. The director is ready. And most importantly, the show, as always, must go on. So please enjoy our production of Millennials, the musical. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Crystal. I'm 22, live in New York, work at a startup. And guest tonight at 8 p.m. confirmed I'm on my Bumble date. And yeah, by the way, last night we rocked at that party in Brooklyn. His profile picture is so handsome. And he works out like every day. And by the way, he's six foot three. I stalked him on Facebook and he even has a real job. OMG, I cannot wait. I took my Xanax, now I feel like myself. My Bumble date tonight, he's sexy as hell. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey, Jack. What happened? I heard you screaming. Are you okay? Oh, Jack. I think I lost my phone. My life is over. Is that so important? Yes, Jack. If I don't post a selfie within an hour, I might lose a follower. Selfie. What is that? Seriously? You don't know? Well, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, Tinder, Snapchat. What? Or Bumble Live Me, OK Cupid. No. Jack, you're the least connected person I know. Do you get a takeout? Here's my plan. How do you survive? Please I'll help, help you find your phone so you can get back. Back to my life. Back to your life. To your millennial life. Okay, Jack, I know that even though we're neighbors, we don't really talk that much IRL, but right now I really need your help finding my phone. Uh, have you tried calling it? No, I don't know my number. I don't know any number, but this is an emergency. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh, I have, uh, drinks, uh, work drinks brunch drinks that I need to uh, coordinate. I mean, I do have my magic gathering draft. But whatever, if it's an emergency, I'll help. Let's retrace your steps. Where were you last night? Um, I was at work. Oh, cool. I'm an accountant. It's really hard, like every year, it's April 15th, and everybody's like, I need you to do my taxes. And I'm like, I'm already doing so many taxes. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Neat. I work at a startup. We're developing this newest killer app. Let me show you. I'm the boss, Cypher. I'm a really chill dude. When I was seven, I made my first billion and broke all the rules. Cypher. We're developing this app. The app will get you laid and paid and bring back a rhombe. Let me tell you all about it. Our app is the real shit. It's the real deal. Soon all our teams in New York and LA will have lives at a grave. That 401k in the Tesla for days hanging out on yachts with a lawn in the bag. Hey, but what does it do? Who cares? Cause it's the real shit. Talking on App Store, uh, the technology. Uh, Just download it. Cause it's the real shit. And then Mark Zuckerberg will finally dine with me. And here's the best part. My dad will respect me. Well, my phone's not here. Well, where'd you go after work? Uh, I went to my favorite artisanal spot, Transcendence. Artisanal? What, is, what does artisanal mean? Well, it's like stuff you would normally buy, but it costs a lot more. And it has ingredients from places I haven't even heard of, like Detroit. But uh, without my phone, I can't use Google Maps. Oh, that's fine. I brought my map. What's the address? Wait, you always carry that around with you? Yeah, doesn't everybody? Uh, how does it fit? Just tell me where we're going. Energies for a record store spot. Please meet my guru, DJ Downward Dog. T R N S D N C E. Ha! T R N S D N C E. We're the yoga wellness center, juice bar, record store, and more. So yeah, we're the place to be. Now sing with me. T R N S D N C E. Your fifth kombucha enema is free. We're the only place in town where you find yourself in vinyl. So yeah, we're the place to be. Now sing with me. T R N it's terrible. DJ DG, 
I've lost my phone, and I can't find it. Well, I'm so sorry about that, my child. But last we saw you, you were headed to the Electric Dynamite Circus, right? You're right. This quinoa smoothie tastes like a dumpster fire full of sadness. Wait, Jack, he's right. We have to go to EDC. Come on. Namaste. Namaste. Did we put the best music here? Yeah. I come here every weekend, and sometimes Tuesdays and Christmas. If there's an orgy, don't let it throw you off. Those dance moves are so inventive. I know. I'm gonna go get my friends. No, wait, but I... Hey, here, take these. Yeah. Are these those artisanal aspirin? They're from Detroit, if that helps. Great. <laughs> I kind of feel like cotton candy. <laughs> things are about to get a whole lot more tolerable in here. Hey, come back. Dim light, our body sweats. The beat is pumping up, pumping up. I can't believe that I just bought a water for 20 bucks. The feelings are coming up. The music is sucking less. Crystal, how's it going? Jack, meet Hydrogen and Harmony, my polyamorous friends. We always hang out here. Please, DJ, turn the volume knob. Hey, have you heard of DJ Scumfrog before? Girl, please, have I heard of him before? You're kidding me. I really want an honor pop. Girl, I heard him once, stand up, burning man. Yeah. Spinning out a jacket, and he made an Amsterdam. Yeah. You know I'm into fans before they uh, ever want to find myself. They took a show last night in the South Korean door. Damn, the 40 straight, I was taking champagne showers. Watching the sun rise, so many times they call me bad. I was losing my ass, so I bought me some pizza. Hey. And I woke up naked on a beach in Ibiza. So proud of you, girl. We love each song, each chord, each word. Jack, I have to show you the view from the roof. Okay, cool. I just gotta say goodbye to Bob. I told him that we'd start an Earthship colony after breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. But, come on. You know, Jack, even though we didn't find my phone, I had a really fun time today. I mean, you taught me what a library was for and how to use a real map. I had a really good time getting to know you. Me too. And you've help me meet so many amazing people and learn about things like Twitter and DJ Frog Scum and all these dank memes that all of a sudden are really important to me. Oh, I feel so bad for Harambe. I feel bad for Harambe too. Oh, Jack. night. I have 108 text messages and 18 new followers on Instagram. Ooh, and somebody invited me to play Spaceship Bingo on Facebook. And I can finally go on my Bumble date. Your Bumble date? Will Crystal and Jack find true love? Find out right now. I can't believe you lied to me. I mean, you said it was an emergency. I'm sorry, Jack. You know, maybe if you didn't have a filter on your life, you would see what was right in front of you. Well, at least I put myself out there and I don't live in a basement like you. I live across the hall from you. I don't live in a basement. Yeah, it's a metaphor, Jack. Yeah, well, here's a metaphor for you. Goodbye, Crystal. That's not a metaphor. Mason. Yeah, I'm coming. I don't know, dude. I think I really screwed this one up. Hey, you must be Mason. And 
you must be Crystal, even though you look nothing like your profile photo. Uh, okay, you said you were 6'3", dude. Listen, can we go right to Netflix and chill, or do I need to buy you a PBR or whatever? I've got this concert later with my good friend DJ Scumfrog. You've probably never heard of him. No, actually I have. I can't live like this. Whoa there, Lena Dunham. Have you even tried yoga? <sighs> OMG, I've made a terrible mistake. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna understand her. I'm going to the Apple store. I'm gonna purge all my technology. I'm gonna actually commit to something. I'm gonna commit millennial suicide. shampoo and suddenly I feel a lot better. I have so much less anxiety and I have this thing called a stay things account. Crystal, I can't believe it. I've been posting all these amazing photos online. I've connected to people from kindergarten and I can't believe how amazing cold pressed coffee is. But you didn't have to change for me. I changed for you. Crystal, ever since I moved across the hall from you, I liked you but I was too scared to do anything about it. And then you lost your phone. The crazy thing is, it was your phone that brought us together. <laughs> now that, now that we've spent so much time together, I, I think I... You're ready to make your debut on my Instagram? I love you. That's even better. <laughs> Maybe we're all a little neurotic and, and crazy and self-obsessed, but I think we're also a lot more free to be ourselves. And if we could just get out of our own way, we could really take on the world. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> hashtag no filter. Yeah. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag give it back. Hashtag I love you. Hashtag crystal and jack. Or screw the hashtags. We're together. Now we're starting the block. Here come the likes. It's our millennial life. Hashtag no filter, hashtag we're all alive. Who needs a phone book? It's a waste of our time. Interconnected and uploaded, living life in the cloud. It's what we do when we screw. I love you, Jack. And I love you, and it's our life. It's our millennial life. Let's go to Burning Man. AF. What musical should we do next, fam? Uh, what about the heartwarming story of, about the rise of um, our favorite spot, Chipotle? Uh, an underdog story. I can see the first number now. The guacamole is extra, but the love is free. I mean, that's why you are a genius. <laughs> like the man. Jazz hands. Critics are falling for Moana. I am still falling. It's thoroughly entertaining, sensational, exciting. USA Today declares Moana rules. I just did that. Disney's Moana, now in 3D. Rated PG.